This year, students chalked the cement in University Park and competed for cash prizes at the second annual Chalk Festival. ASI Beats sponsored the event where talented students produced unique chalk art in 7 by 7 foot sections in front of the Bronco Student Center. Each team was literally on their hands and knees hoping to win first place and $100 in one of three categories. The Chalk Festival was started in spring quarter of 2007 by Beats Arts and Lectures Chair Rachel Padilla. So does this kind of bring you back to childhood days or give you a sense of what it was like to be a kid outside chalking? Well, I always wanted to chalk as a kid and I couldn't, so this is just, yeah, just kind of going back and actually getting to do it. So serving a long-awaited lifetime dream to chalk on the cement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Rachel Padilla, the one who came up with this great idea for Chalk Fest a year ago last spring. Can you tell us how you came up with this idea? Well, basically, I currently hold the Arts and Lectures Chair position for ASI Beat, and an art idea that I came up to is the Chalk Festival. Um, similar events like this are Pasadena Chalk Festival, so I just kind of wanted to bring something to campus that is very similar and that could be fun and entertaining. What made you guys come up with the peace sign and the no justice, no peace motif here? The idea is that everyone wants peace, right? That's what we all strive for, whether it be a spiritual type of peace or, you know, peace in the world. Um, but the idea is that you can't have peace without justice. Wherever there's oppression, there will never be peace. So do you, would you be able to attribute this masterpiece to a doodle that you did while you were in class? Or how did you come up with this? Um, I, yeah, it's just like, I'm just like straight up just going off the top of my head right now with this. And I mean, like I said before, it's just all appreciation towards Cal Poly. The day filled with gorgeous ladies riding owls, a curvy Mother Earth, and even pigs flying was a definite success. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Lindsay Latham with ASI-TV.